astronauts said Kenny Jernigan in uh, Cosmonaut Valley Tokarev opening uh, the hatch into Unity at uh, 8.14 p.m. Central Time. Though our mission status briefing with the crew of Discovery well into its fifth day of work on board. Uh, and, and can we discuss how those items were packaged and then also discuss... Um, the crew went right to work on two major repair uh, operations, uh, one on the early comm system, one on the power system in the FGD. Uh, the early comm system troubleshooting indicated that both the RFPDB and the transceiver needed to be replaced. And this RFPDB is a switch box that we think was causing the problem with the return link all along. Now the crew is finishing up, bringing up that system now. Uh, they have both boxes installed. We haven't yet turned the system back on and checked it out. That should be happening sometime within the next hour. Now we're entering the uh, Unity module, astronaut uh, Alan Ochoa. Kenny Jernigan and uh, Valerie Tokarev open uh, the aft hatch of the Unity module. That's uh, leading to the conical netting adapter that attaches uh, Unity to Zarya. Uh, we now have about two and a half days after we finish the work today to essentially monitor the performance of this new hardware that we've installed. And hopefully what we'll see in two and a half days is all this hardware is working uh, perfectly and we'll go away with a really pristine spacecraft once again. And about all we have remaining on aside from that is the logistics transfers. And we still have a lot of work to do in front of us, moving everything over from the orbiter. And then we have egress scheduled for early Thursday morning, reboots later that day, and undock uh, later on that night. The Unity module, astronaut Dan Barry. And then now our pilot, uh, Rick Husband. 